Hello everyone, base of here. Welcome back. The more was it? Is it Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney? Or is it Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Trilogy? I'm pretty sure it's Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Welcome. Um also we forgot to we got we gotta turn on oh there it is. Gotta enable those channel points. Lonnie's gonna get upset. Lonnie's gonna get upset if they're not enabled. Um let's see, we're gonna continue playing this. <sighs> the last couple weeks I've been complaining about work and how awful it's been. I was hoping that things were gonna start looking up. No no no. The last couple weeks was was the pre-shit show. Now the actual shipocalypse is upon us. And I fucking hate it. Um it's first time in the ten years. No, twelve years. First time in the 12 years since I've been at this uh, company or at my position rather uh, that I've actually been contemplating just saying fuck it I quit I've been here for 12 years never once had that thought and uh, it's it's kind of just been mulling in my brain for like the last month and now it's just like it's gonna get worse uh, I, it's it's this close to saying fuck it and it sucks because I love the work I do. I love the people I work directly with. It's just management has come in and fucked everything. It made it an absolute nightmare and shit show to do anything. Just today, literally, this isn't directly management's fault, but literally we couldn't do anything today because they turned off our VPN and uh, switched us to another one and nothing, we couldn't connect to anything. It, it just sh they really think that us as developers are just writing documents all day apparently because oh it works fine for me you're writing word documents you're not writing code you're not connecting to databases shut up you obviously don't know at all what we do and you don't care at all what we do apparently uh, it's so incredibly frustrating anyways what's up Kira how you doing my dude so I got some tea it's love tea it had it was made it was like you know the, the tea they compress it into little dried stuff it's compressed into a heart so maybe it'll warm my cold dying heart and we're uh drinking some or flavored it up with some honey from our dear friend abiel when she came to visit she gave me some honey that her bees made amazing Phoenix Phoenix Seas. Phoenix I kind of like that better. Because it's Phoenixes, right? And I like Phoenix Seas. Aren't real. Also, I hate the plural for Phoenix. <laughs> I thought it. I, isn't the plural actually Phoenixes? I swear it's Phoenixes. It's not Phoenix Seas. No. No. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Plural for Phoenix. Yeah, what's the plural for Phoenix? Phoenixes or Phoenixes? Yeah, Phoenixes. Yeah, it's Phoenixes. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Or do you hate that it's Phoenixes? Oh. <gasps> Why are the plural forms of... Oh, we're doing a deep dive. Hold on. Why are the plural forms of Lynx and Phoenix not Lynx, Lynxes, and Phoenixes? <laughs> we have index and indices. Oh, this person's going to educate us. <gasps> there are two reasons. Looks like index was borrowed later directly from Latin. While Phoenix and Lynx have attested forms of Old and Middle English respectively. Those two words have had a lot more time to be tumbled into the organically English form. Phoenix has the plural. Whoa. Phoenix has the plural. Phoenix, F E N I X, by the way, has the plural. plural... Phoenixis? Oh, that sounds cool. Phoenixis? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. F E N I X A S. Phoenixis. That's cool. In addition, in addition, borrowing straight from Latin into moderately recent English tend to be scientific or liturgical context. 
blah 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 another reason the other two words changed but index didn't may due to frequency of use yeah venus disease sounds weird more often regular word forms used more likely it is to remain yep the regular plural is also used Although with a lot of borrowing like this, there are regular plural must be remembered. The regular plural is also used. Syllabi versus syllabuses versus fish versus fishes. For index, it may just be a matter of time before it follows suit with phoenixes and lynxes. Okay, but phoenixes? That's a cool word. That might have to be like, if I make a character in some game, like an MMO. Phoenixus. Sounds dope. Alright. Well, that was your education for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, let's play some Ace Attorney. I got I gotta I gotta shoink. Move myself up there. Anyway, also Phoenix sucks. Oh, I wanna stop living here. I was like, what are you even talking about? I love him. You're talking about Phoenix as in the city. Yeah, I my brother just moved there. And uh he sent me a couple pictures and I'm just like, oh I just see dead and sand and desert and oh, oh I hate heat and he's okay. He's coming from the Pacific North Northwest. He's coming from the Seattle area. Green and lush and humid and wet. To the complete dead opposite of hot and sticky and dry and dead. Oh, talk about whiplash. Uh, two, six, this one. Yes, load. We're, we were working. Oh, that's right. There was a samurai thing going on. They skipped my birthday. How rude. Oh, straight to court. Right. I remember getting to this bit when we were playing and I was confused that we went straight to court. We didn't even get to go look at any other stuff. Enix is a monument in mankind's arrogance. Yeah, dude, it's so fucked up. Well, the worst part about that is like, all right, you know, tame the desert. That's fine. Learn to live in the desert. That's totally fine. The fact that there are golf courses with green grass is a complete and utter waste of money and resources and water horrible i fucking hate that shit what's up lonnie why is your thing not working because you're not a sub why does it think you're not a sub you just resubbed ah. welcome oh, back that would be why your steadfast ah. loyalty Dude, is look how much damage you did to rooster you took like half his life you see that <laughs> yay mom cookies you get two you get two cookie you get cookie and then special cookie look at that face hold on a minute hold on a minute look at that face oh another cookie oh wait this is the cookie top oh look at that face you want this cookie here you go little cookie for the cookie top snack snack there's another cookie for the sub there's another one another one oh here you go oh you didn't expect another one um 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 good stuff good stuff they take it for the sub. Oh, look at that face. Oh my god. So we're gonna we're gonna switch back to just chatting for a second. Um, you guys remember? Oh wait, I don't know if I told you this. So last last Tuesday, I had to take her in for her chiropractor adjustment, right? And since I'm running out of the CBD that I use for her. My person that the person that addressed her told me about this other CBD because the one that she's on, I'm like, I don't think it's really doing anything. She's been on it for a couple of years, but I don't want to stop it in case it is doing something. But I haven't noticed the difference. And she's like, we have this CBD that we can get in. It's really powerful. It, I use it on my dogs and it works. So I was like, OK, well, when I run out, I'll let you know. And so she's going to run out. So I was like, hey, put me down or one of the bottles and we'll get it here. I'm thinking it's like 30 or 40 or $50 of a bottle. 
two days later, I see a charge on my bank account for $295. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? Some, someone put a number somewhere wrong because an adjustment is 45 bucks for her. So I'm like, there's no way in hell that CBD was $250. Like, because she said, I have to put an order with the company and they send me some stuff and then I, I sell it because she's like, it's too expensive to just for me to have on hand. I'm like, that's totally cool. And I was like, did, did someone charge me for the whole restock of getting a bunch of new ones in? Because that's ridiculous. No, the CBD for her is $250. Are you shitting all over my nuts right now? Who has $250 a month to give CBD to their dog? I wouldn't even... Like, I give her more medications than I give me. All right? Like, I want her to be feel better before I do. I wouldn't even buy... CBD at $250 for myself. Are you fucking high? Who has, who has, who has $250 in general, right? So I was like, oh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to move some money from my emergency fund to my bank account so I don't overdraft. $250 for CBD. I ain't buying that again. Are you kidding me? I knew I should have asked how much it was. But the CBD she's on was like, you get two vials in the pack and it's like 60 bucks every three, two or three months. This CBD bottle better be like a fucking shampoo bottle. Huge. And last her until she passes because $250, bruh. You gotta be shitting me. Or, or I should say, or it better fucking do something like significant. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Are you kidding me? That's more money than all her meds. Okay, maybe not her prescription meds. That's more money than all her fucking supplements and shit combined a month. If you throw in her prescription meds, then it, it's close. That's bananas. That's so much money. Oh. So I had to eat that cost. I, I got to go pick that up when they call me sometime this week or whatever. When it gets in. Ugh. It better be huge, dude. It better. And the worst part is, too. So I got her the large size because there's like a stupid graph chart of like weights and how many drops or whatever her weight. And I was like, well, I'm going to get the biggest one because it's less drops it's gonna last you longer right and she goes i i do the same thing i'm like okay cool and for her weight it's five drops like twice two or three times a day so it would be breakfast and dinner what i do now if that lasts only a month i'm going to lose my mind oh and then we're gonna have that awkward conversation in a couple weeks or when that runs out and I go in to go to get her adjustment. Like, hey, how's your CBD doing? Like, it's out. Like, oh, did you want to get a nor? I can't afford that. Are you kidding? That's bananas. $250? That's a fucking... That's more than my car insurance. $250 a month is more than my car insurance. Not by much. Okay, not by much. Fif by 50 bucks. That's bananas. That's straight bananas. No. Okay. You know what? We're I'm done ranting. I've been ranting since we started stream like ten minutes ago. Ooh. Anyways, I hope all you are having a lovely Monday. God, Monday. It's so frustrating. I'm so angry what's happening at work. Sorry, I missed completely what the judge said. No bad. Uh alright, Edgeworth gonna try to edge me again. Oh, the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. 
The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, what was his voice? Very well. Mr. Edwards, your opening statement, please. And uh, that's close. It's not right. Not quite right. Prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. the October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One at Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm. I see. Very well. I would like to move on to some testimony. Miss Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, this time. What's up, Gumshoe? <laughs> Detective, if you would briefly describe, describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the, with the guard map here. I, my brain did not process that word. It's like I saw no letters. That was weird. Maybe that's how, like, dyslexia works. Like, those letters get googled. Because that was not a word in my brain. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of the action scenes during this morning here. This is the main gate in the studio. The security, the security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. At the security station, there is a gate, see? That's that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, where there were, were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. Oh, I hope it's not her. I hope she didn't kill him. That would suck. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Hey, V, that's me. And after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. And after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. This is just a weird hole. Why did you guys take it out? That's weird. Time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Mm, should I listen to that whole thing again? Nah. There's a couple red things in there, but I think we're fine. I think I can probably remember that. Probably the murder weapon. Where's your spear? Oh, whoa. That was not his voice. Fuck! Hammer, murmur. Alright, you might have to open up my, uh, my previous playthroughs at some point because I can't think of his, his voice. I, I, I have his voice with gumshoes mixed in my brain. Or the murder weapon. Or murder. Something like that. Ow. It evil. Summary spear added to the court record. The spear was found stuck in the chest of the victim. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady of the guard station see? Understood. Oh God, all right, sorry. I gotta, I gotta look. I, I can't get his, his voice right and it's gonna drive me nuts. Also, I should probably look up, um, what's his bucket's face? Powers? Is that his name? Powers. Right? Dun, dun. Uh, nope. Not that. It's what? Where are we? <laughs> Ah, shit. It's gonna take forever to find... <gasps> no. I want it. The judge. Ah, oh, that's right. Oh, it feels so good. Say something, judge. <gasps> no, don't stop it. No, he clicked the thing and didn't say anything. <laughs> it's... I don't know if this is worth it. Oh, oh, I see his face. 
Back up, back up. There it is. We're in the Oompa Loompa. I'm burning. I'm burning. Hold on. Sorry. Dude. YouTube has been garbage lately. There it is. You gears? Got it. Oh, crap. I was going to listen to Power's voice. Ugh. I feel it was something like that. Can I do this? Does that sound right? Kind of sound oh. Evil masturbations clown life. Yeah, that's it. You got it. We're good. We're great. Oh, also, Kira. Uh, I forgot you mentioned, you said something. Why's your dumb brother enough to be here on purpose? I don't know, dude. He went down there for a job. Oh. I missed my say. You said something. Oh, we're on case three. How'd you like the end bits of the second case? With the Oompa Loompa? We finally got him? That was very satisfying. That guy was an asshat. Although I'm upset that Edgeworth, I thought he was coming on to the side of justice. No, he was just being a dick. I think his name was like Boncho's from Day of the Diver. No, Boncho is um, Edgeworth. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Think. <clears throat> I'm, I'm inclined to believe it was you, or you staged it. The witness declare her name. Uh, I'm very uncomfortable. She's trying to pull on April May. Do we like Edgeworth by the age of the game? Is he just edging us the whole time? <clears throat> mm. Why aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Okay, this is weird. Your name, please. Team Jesworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. I'm sure that's very important. Wendy, old bag, dearie. You just call me Grandma. Oh, God. I, no, it's this thing. So how would the other children believe it? But there was this boy, the Captain Chess. He called me an old bag and I just cried. Okay, yeah, I'm just... Shut up. Ha <laughs> ha! It was him! Ha ha ha! <gasps> Thank you, Edwards. Uh, uh, objection. I, I object to the witness's talkativeness. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Objection sustained. Witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good point, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, eh, I was. Is that a word? Yes, see? Yes, and then yes backwards. No, Boncho. Knock off Steve Seagal, I meant. Steve Seagal? I don't even know. I don't even know Steve Seagal accent. Can't even place it. Can you get the seat of the murders? I mean, we'd have to pass by. Someone ever had to pass by you? You know your stuff, dearie. You may be getting your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. All right, let's get her. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. The poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyways, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., correct? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, a man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination. Me too, right? <laughs> You know, blonde-haired food critic douche? Is that Guy? Is that Fieri? Is he a douche? I know people either love or hate him. There seems to be, like, no in-between. 
Or um the idiot sandwich guy. Shit. What's his name? Oh, the blonde food critic from Dave the Diver. <laughs> ah! Oh, I don't really remember. Fuck, I don't even remember the voice I gave him either. I know who you're talking about. I thought you were talking about someone in real life. <laughs> Ooh, this is the... See, see what's happened in the last month of work has done to my poor brain meat? Yes, Your Honor. Get cross-examined. And the murderer arrived at the guard station. We'll press her on it. I mean, it doesn't hurt us to press him, right? So up until the time, anyone who wanted to go... Anyone who wanted to... Could go into the studio? Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You need an employee car key... Or guard key to get in. Right. Card key. Then I have. So what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Hey! It's my turn! Well, Hannah and the rest had been doing run-throughs since there in the morning. A run-through? They were working out a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon and were to use... And were to use the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to start at 5 p.m. I'm... My, my throat is getting ruined by her voice. Wish I had brain heat. I don't... You, you need the brain to make the, the smart making. I have just a few shiny rocks knocking around up there. I'll trade mine. I like shiny rocks. Hammer get ran through, all right. That's why poor old Hammer went to the studio one in the afternoon. The Powers was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about a laid back hero. There was, if there was a run through in the morning, why did you only get there? Why did you only get there afternoon? I well, I had some errands to run that morning. What kind of errands? <laughs> oh, well, you know. Answer the question. <laughs> Actually, I was watching Paul Hammer and Powers. Observing, you know. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Oh, God, she's doing demon face. Weapon Snapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? Did we do evil voice for her, too? I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Savage run throughs. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I, I want to see. I want to see Steel Samurai run through too. You can quit being a spirit medium. Take up guard duty. <laughs> not a bad idea. Wait. Not a bad idea. I forgot. I com completely forgot to give her her voice. Anyways, it was one. Wait, I got to the guard station. Did you see the victim then? Did I see a poor old hammer? No. Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate from then until five. So you're watching there the whole time? No breaks? Not even a second? I'm a force. I'm a professional, you know. Except when you leave your station to go watch them practicing. Why are you criticizing how I do my job, Whipper Snapper? That's an old lady word. No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can watch the game eat donuts at the same time. Snipper Rapper! Snipper Rapper! Old Windbag is losing it, Nick! Why don't you raise an objection? Jody Witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? How did you know that? Oh, I have my ways. That overly dressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. He asked me that detective isn't cut out for his job. Poor Detective Gumshoe. Oh, wait, we have a voice for his, my inner monologue. Poor Detective Gumshoe getting ratted out by a security guard. Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by at 2 p.m. Who? You're sure? 
Sure is, Spit. What does that mean? Well, who is this man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. It might strain something. Now, now, don't get your skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it is. It was Powers! That man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. I don't believe you. So you saw Mr. Powers? That's what I said! You got wax in your ears, Sonny? You want a box? Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. A penis. You can't do that in court. I'll say it again! Unless the judge orders you. And even then, that might be bad. I'll say it again! It was him! It was Powers! That man right there, and he was heading towards the studio! Oops. I didn't mean to do that one. Uh. Oh, we gotta get re-familiarized with this. Yeah, let's do this one. Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, Miss Old Bag. Vincent. <laughs> I, I used the. What was that? A noun? Instead of the proper noun? You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? You're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Ray. Let me see that photo. Yeah, it's costume, sucker. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old, Tol old Tokyo. It's old bag. Is this Mr. Powers that you saw? Of oh, course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can blatantly see that's Powers, right? Yeah, even Edward's scared. No, they can't. Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Yeah, idiot. Oh god, evil. I, I know that. I was born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss, er, uh, witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that there's a person in the window. The photo is me. You powers, do you? Hey, nosy old man. Ah, oh, she's rude. Of course I have proof. Uh oh. What? <coughs> he even shocked him. What? There you go. Even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution... The prosecution would like to cast the old... The witness. Please make known all the information in your possession... In your possession ahead of time. Oh, God! I was letting a little one be so nosy. You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me it isn't any good as evidence, pal. You even got a second look. Okay, Gumshoe, come on, man. He's got himbo energy. Wow. Old bag, old windbag has left even Ed Edward speechless. He's good. I'm terrible at reading today. Let's hear about your proof then. Oh, here we go again. Never say anything I don't mind, mind you. Mean, mind you. The morning during the run through of the action scene. I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs. See? Clear as day. That's how he knew it was Powers. Happy? Watch, it's gonna be the wrong leg. Hmm. Joey so had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross examine the weakness. I... I can't get his voice right for some reason. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Squeal time! I'm she's a good guy, even if incompetent. Yeah, I like him, but... He shouldn't be a detective. He's gonna get someone... wrongly imprisoned. Sure about that? I'm gonna annoy the shit out of you. Um... <laughs> Hey, I haven't even said anything yet. Oh. How do you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs? Everything I've said is on the straight narrow. It's definite. You 
the tail is whining. Oh my god, here she goes again. Yep, shut up. Mr. Wright. Yeast for our sakes. Try not to upset the witness. You and I can agree. I think Ojib has met his match. That morning during the run through of the action scene. Who's present at the run through? Well, let's see. It was powers? He's a steel samurai. The poor old Mr. Hammer. The evil magistrate. And me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing, just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving bat chops around and such. Why didn't you say that? So she didn't see the run through then. I saw powers trip and fall. Trip and fall? Yes, and I think he's supposed to be still samurai. What a laugh. So that's his left leg, I think. Looks like it's probably got hurt. So Bauer sprained his... Oh, wait. Yeah, so Bauer sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for, for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. That's us. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, huh? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Bauer's ankle. Mm-hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Which one? He broke a prop? Is it spear? Aha! You're all dead. His own samurai spear. And how did that... Okay. The samurai spear. The murder weapon. Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. It strikes me as a significant detail. You better write this down in the court record. Hell yeah, dude. Murder weapon, a break in the shaft has been mended with duct tape. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Is Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so, not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went into his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Oh, so she just admitted the nap. That's the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't you? Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where is this steel samurai costume now? Uh... Mm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. I'm sure it is, dude. The witness did see the steel samurai, yes? And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. B Bill Powers. Hmm. I suppose that's right. Are you sure, Your Honor? Mm. There's no way that we could object right now because we don't have... I'm doing it anyway. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities. We have to agree that this photo shows the steel samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. There. Okay, I'm glad they did that for me. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. There you go, Judge. Now you thinking, using your old noodle? We have to consider that possibility also. Let me think. That allow me to remove the doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? I need to ask twice! Oh, God. Mobile mode? Time to make ramen? I just had some ramen. I didn't even get to finish it because I came down here. Stuff was broken, so I didn't even get to shove it all in my face before stream started. Time before Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., correct? The only person I saw go to the studio before that was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I wouldn't have seen them. Hmm. So, no one else went to the studio. And would have been... Would have to be Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may grace examine the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Fuck you. I'm just doing this to annoy her. How do you know that? Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret, pal, he told me everything. 
The detective of Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. I could go for some donuts. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Willow Powers. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking past by at all. Nobody suspicious looking. Mm, right. No one else went there. You sure? What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one? Oh, snap. More information. Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. They locked the main gate so no one could get in. No one can hop that. Not to mention. If they had, I would have seen them. Ow, you were stuck in there with everyone. You sure? Stop it! The witness has answered the question. Any or anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, sonny. You let him have an edgy boy. E edgy boy. Oh boy. Old Windman sure has balls. Er, well, you know what I mean. Old Windbags have a way of skipping over important details after all. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., correct? You knew that. Ah, shit. It started me over. Okay. Only person I saw in the studio was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Oh shit, I didn't mean to skip that. This one, maybe? This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction of that statement, Your Honor. This, that always means I fucked up. How exactly are the evidence of the statement just now related? They aren't, are they? Fuck. Not at all, Mr. Ray. Please think back over before me hearing, er, making accusations. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Trying to push options. Ugh. I think the options button on my controller is busted. Both those buttons are a pain in the ass to push. I would have seen them. No one else went there. I need to show the picture of the vent. Oops. No, oh, you saw this. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, there is, honey. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And you ever thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground? <clears throat> right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. A very computer printed out this photo. <clears throat> Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m. Photo number two. Then I know what that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit where the photo at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? You erased it. Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Show me the <gasps> face. Come on. 
Order, order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. If there is only data for one of the photos, who could have erased the data for the other photo? It was you! Only someone with access, the security lady herself. There it is. Eh, me! I watched your mouth, you understand? The only person I saw that day was Will Powers! The camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Uh, well, yes, that's what it seemed to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, uh, uh, I don't understand these new vangled computer things. Uh, edgy boy, help. Uh, believe me, I want to. But I don't know what this means either. Uh, some hell of you are. You uh, whippersnapper, too. Man, she is fucking. Vo she's. She's evil. I can't think of the word. It starts with a V. It's not violent. It's not virile. But, uh, vindictive. Maybe. That's not quite right, but close enough. Whippersnapper! Something the matter, Miss Old Bag. Oh, wait. Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, uh, that's right! I. I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate? Someone other than the steel or samurai? Eh, well, yes, I suppose you can put it that way. Don't you dare pin it on that girl. I see. The even's getting sick of these people's bullshit. Your testimony, please. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security camera and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see? Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Oh, what? Yeah, how convenient. Miss Old Bag, this is the first I've heard of this. Ooh, your attorney's angry at you. You didn't even tell them. Well, of course, Sonny, I've only just remembered it. Right, anyway. Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Oh, well, let's see. This was, was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> All right. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one important job to do. Fuck you. Another job? Uh, that's right. I check all the other people that passed by the game gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Ooh, you said you look closely. Do you back up all the security cam light data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. If there aren't any old photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see? How do you know what's suspicious and what's not? Boom! How do you exactly... How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. And I didn't touch the suspicious looking real powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. I'm to think of it. Now I remember throwing out one photo that day. What was it? Well, who in the heck was that photo you erased? I'm a fanboy. That's important. Fanboy? Still samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get your information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. You didn't fucking bring that up till now? Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Convenient. That stupid grate. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and will. That's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids. So on the photo that you erased. It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. Okay. What? That wasn't helpful at all. Uh, order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass through the gate on their way to the studios that day? 
One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked, looked to be about second or third grade. Ah, oh, yes. Well, we well we see his types there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the sam samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I raised the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him suspect. Yeah, and they've already tried, and, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. <laughs> this word will take a five-minute recess. I went to the defense and the prosecution and consider this new information. And no forgetting vital informa information this time. Fuck. You're giving them time to get their story straight. Ugh. Oh, wait, that's me. Mr. Powers? Yes. Kind of looks like Wolverine, doesn't he? Tell me straight. Were you really in the dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. Who was the Steel Samurai in the security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. We should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? Doesn't look good. He's only likely suspect right now. Nick! Well, what are we gonna do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting. Oh, wait, that's me. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have, conceivably have done this. I'll take it them so long to shoot us down that we could get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. Watch Flexus. Care! Holy crap, dude! How you doing? Uh, you don't sound very optimistic. I'm not. I'm. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. I just had the most awesome date last night. <gasps> How'd it go? Well, you said it was awesome, but what'd you do? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh. I just had the most awesome date. It turned up. It turned up at his hotel at 23. 11.30? What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. Lord, we now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Powers. Mr. Andrews, will you, will you present the prosecution starts on this matter? I can't get his voice right for some reason. Prosecution thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studio was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there's still no one else that could have committed the crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant and Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your thought. The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. You only left at 6 a.m. What'd you guys do? Did you go out for dinner? Did you go to a movie? Did you go to a park? Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. Really? Because a lot of innocents have been accused in this courtroom. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't already high enough. Okay, I think this is where we save. Just in case. <laughs> A lot of toggling and tickling. Nice. I'm glad you had fun. Hope you were safe. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to accuse the girl... We're just trying to buy time for another day, though. I'm going to use the security lady. 
She was a security lady. Windy old bag. Oh! Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action she'd run through. Bam! There's only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about that injury. Yeah, bitch! How do you like them apples? Security lady old... That's me. The security lady old bag! What? With a snapper? Yeah, get him. Yeah, get him! Murder. Murder! Yeah, is this true, old bag? Old bag! That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to, ste to steal the steel samurai's costume. Holy crap. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the traveler's wearing the steel samurai costume to pin it on powers? Simple, your honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. So she deleted her own picture. If she was in his costume, she would point the finger at Mr. Powers. Where is she? Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh my god, he's on... He's in agreement with me for once. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes too, baby. <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> Bubble bath. Feet stuff. I'm glad you had fun. That's odd. Isn't this part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection in some new damning evidence? Or Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? Ooh, look at him. The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Yo, suck it. What? That is, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Boy, just don't just sit there and do something. That's my move. Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. Mm, press further. I'm not giving Granny a break. Are you kidding me? The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's action that day. Uh, but why would I do something new? so horrible to poor Hammer? forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Mm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Oh, yes, the man. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The boy who's fallen always. He's only a grade schooler. Oh, wrong voice. He's only a grade schooler. So, as you said, second or third grade, was it? I cannot get his voice right. It's driving me nuts. Dude, yeah. Connection here? Hell yeah, dude. It's huge. His only grade schooler is... Oh, wait. Here, did that. That doesn't matter. Oh, God. Yo, she just admit that she's tough. Uh. Here's out, Mr. Wright. The boy's not the killer. What? How did you be so sure? Oh, there's a... Or is it... Or is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders day? With a snapper? I have proof. Proof! Indeed. And then, then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. Do you have proof that shows the boy couldn't not have committed this murder? N not really. Although we did kind of establish that a kid couldn't carry this. Is this going to be good enough? Oh. Yeah, that should be right. Your Honor! The murder weapon was the samurai spear. The very spear is shown here in the photo. Yeah, a kid couldn't one-hand it like that. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> She's angry. The windbag. Oops. The windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. Clip. 
Lord was to spend proceedings in the current trials for today. Fuck off! We just started! We just got back! Oh, uh, Mr. Edwards. Please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? W Windy. Oh, is that the... Wait. Oh, that's funny. Something old bad, Your Honor. I thought they were talking about the other girl. In the prosecution, we'll look further into the old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Did you hear the Naruto song? Wait a second. I'm not... Okay. Here goes. Yo, the music. I'm not going to sit here while you want to bark it up. Do I treat me? I'm talking. The judge said it's over. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. <laughs> this old bag. What's this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually... Oh, wait. Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? Yeah, I was gonna say Edward. Huh. You mean it wasn't Edward that told him not to talk? Huh? Testify. Okay, it's not over yet. My lips were sealed. Jabba Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studio on the day of the murder. Fuck and... I hate you. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studio that day. Oh god. What are we going to? Oh. I'm not going to get away. I'm not letting them get away. Scott, please. No, I, I hope it's you so we can put you away. Miss old bag. This is crucial information. Why did you keep it from the court this until now? Isn't that withholding evidence? That, that's prison time. Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Ray, your cross-examination. He is upset. Have you seen these games, Carrot? I'm loving this game. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. What was it? You open your mouth, spill the beans. So you were told not to talk? That's right, by the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why did I hear about this? She's lying. Don't be too hot on yourself, Sonny. We're all on... We were all in on it. Oh, you just fucking just wrapped yourself up with everyone. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. Who was it? Who are these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. What could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where are these people? So where were these people? Oh, this is probably going to get a catch and a lie. The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. You and the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Yeah, Edgeworth, get her! He's cornering his own fucking... Client. Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? Where's the Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map. Here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. Yeah, but the down tree. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Ray, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Fuck you, lady! You said they had nothing to do with it, see? How do you know that? You can't just trust them. His old bag! This is a trial for murder! I know that, silly. No, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. That's fucking... You're an idiot. That You know that's suspicious, right? So you got your... Oh, so you got your bonus and you still talk? Hmm. I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. No! Damn it! Yeah, I guess there's no harm in getting as much info as I can. Oh. Okay, we already did this. So they told me just to pretend they hadn't been in the studios. They oh, I want that. So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it. Oh. They beat it before the cops came. <clears throat> 
kill this woman, I swear. <laughs> I feel sorry for Edgeworth, almost. She really left him hanging on this one. Them? Multiple. Who were these people? Well, the director, the producer for the starters. The director? Yeah, we then he's saying the same thing again. Hmm. 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 Ah. Ah, we'll take a break, I guess. Dude, I, I can't stand her. Your Honor. I, I, I might hate her more than pink haired dude. We have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. They all could be suspect, yep. Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict from the defendant, Mr. Powers. Mm. Clap. The court acknowledges, or the court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag. And more information about these other people. We have just been told of. Oh, he upset. I understand, Your Honor. This ends today's proceedings for the trial of Mr. Wells. Little power. That is all. This court is adjourned. What's Powers' play on name? William Powers. Will I am Powers? I don't know. I don't know what his play on name is. Hate her more than the man. That guy's just obnoxious, and he murdered the coolest character that only lived for two minutes. Willpower. Got it. I'm an idiot. For some reason, when it showed up in chat, it clicked. <gasps> oh, thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. Ren. What should I say? Uh, we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. I have to find out more about this director and producer. We'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So Nick, I was figured out just who it was in that steel samurai costume. Could it really have been an old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Pa what do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was uh, really. Neither do I, Nick. Aw, oh, damn it. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take pressure off Mr. Powers. No, 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 Maya. No, no poor old windbag. Poor old windbag, I feel kind of sorry for her. Fuck that, she's a horrible wench. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there with all, with or without my accusation. Okay, oh wait. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Hi! Right. We'll be back to visit you soon! Thanks. Thanks, guys. I like Will. He's a cool dude. Then we continued! <gasps> Next one! What a day. Oh, she moved. It's no time to be relaxing, Nick. Hey, you think we... Will Powers got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and the producer? Yeah, them. Well, what... What are we doing here, then? Let's go get to the studios. All right. I wasn't pushing anything. I'm not pushing anything! My game is possessed. Maya, get out of my game! I need her to exercise the spirit that's possessing my PC, apparently. No one's here! 
Right, now that they have Miss Old Bag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey! The guy says she looked! She left her donuts! They're days old. Okay, I would eat them still. But I wasn't going to eat them. It's okay, I would have. What's that squeaky noise? Security guard station, Miss Old Bag must like junk food. There's a mountain of it in the desk there. The computer that runs the studio security cameras, huh? Looks like it's been turned off for the day. Yeah, the bird's chirping. It's freaking me out. Overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area to the left are actual film studios. Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. The main interest of the studios, they probably have a police officer on patrol out there. Yeah, but it's random. The bird's chirping. It's freaking me out. It, it feels completely, like, not... It's weird. It feels like it's not part of the game. Uh, go to outside Studio One. Hey, Nick! It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today! All right. Probably up to his Nick and paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. Too, we heard about on the trail today. It was down the path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I tried to go down there before. Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are here today. Another chance, Nick. Let's check it out. You got it. Is there a bird nest somewhere? I'm bushed. Maybe I'll sit down here for a bit. This is exactly why I don't want to go. I want to get old ever. Hey, I'm still young. I'm just tired. Nick, when you start having to say I'm still young, you know it's all over. Shut up, Maya. I don't need your realism. But but I am still young. Rude. Rude, Maya. I'm playing a video game. You don't gotta call me out like that. A security camera that automatically takes pictures of people here. I took two pictures on the day of the murder before the actual time of death. One of them was the Steel Samurai. The other was a grade school boy. Can we trust of that? Why would she throw that away? I guess she said it wasn't suspicious, but I still don't trust it. It doesn't seem to be switched on today. Also, I'd be curious to believe that the bonus she got was to shut her up. Immersive bird experience? It's weird. It's like 3D. It feels like it's not in the game. It feels like someone activated a voice thing. A voice effect, and there's birds part of the voice effect. Please welcome! They let people in here when they're not filming, right? Nick, let's come down here someday. What do you say? Sure, if the security lady lets us in. Okay, that was... Weirdly, uh, timed. Studio mascot. Apparently it's a monkey of some kind. I've never seen a monkey with a nose like that before. That doesn't look anything like a monkey. Why don't they put his head back on? Maybe she'd ask the assistant. I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. You probably need a crane to move some that thing. Probably so. Entrance Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Mm hmm. Okay. Can we move this way? Aha! Oh. Ooh. We haven't been there yet. This is new. This is Studio Two. I thought so. It doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. Uh, hey, there's a trailer over there! It looks pretty sturdy. A movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? Something's sus. Ooh, there's a broken thing here. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty! I take good care of these! Fucking birds, dude! Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Probiscus monkey? Is that the one with the donk and nose? Nick! Let's go inside! No, there's stuff out there. I don't want to look at. You think it's okay? Oh well, it's locked. Aw, oh, shucks! 
Closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is a part of some temporary film set. These look like materials for making a movie set. I've been sitting here for quite some time. It might as well be a junkyard. Stop it, birds. Dude, those birds are... I don't know why. They're driving me nuts. They sound so weird and out of place. And they just started showing up. It, that's the other part that's making it feel weird. They make it feel like significant trying to draw my attention to something. Light van for moving staff and equipment around. It kept it up pretty good. Kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure. If I had a license. I don't have a license. Heck, you don't have a driver's license. Look, I have this. Hey, show me your attorney's badge, Nick. <laughs> I have a license to law. An incinerator. Apparently, they just put this one in. Can we check for photos? It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. Oh, I want to look inside. It's like two people late here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they eat T-bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Birds. It's the birds, Maya. I don't really want to be here. Yeah, it's a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. <sighs> okay. So I'm guessing she's saying that we've already observed all that. In the employee area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey. Hey. Hi. The power's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Good job, guys. Oh? Uh -huh. Don't mention it. Is it true we caught, we caught the security lady? I will be so upset if she did, did the murder. Uh -huh. Why am I laughing like a weirdo? Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. <gasps> Ooh! You mean that one? The one you covered with cardboard? Wow, what a mess. I, I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. I'm assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props in the back. Props, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fix them. I'm sure you do great. Oh, oh! Well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Old Bag. See you later then. Good luck with your investigation. See you. <gasps> Excuse me. This is sus. Those the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today. He came in through that drain. So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Uh, hey, Nick. If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah. I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though. Don't you? What are you... I didn't mean to skip whatever you just said. What do you mean, something? Really? Nick? You can? Oh, she's serious? Uh-oh. Oh. She said we. I can rip it open. I'm doing it! Shit. I'm doing it. I just implicated myself in the murder, didn't I? Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Like inhibitions. Right? Uh... Yeah, you know, Nick? They're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? Hiya! There. That should make the kids happy. The things we do. Oh, is it actually kids? That are breaking in? The drain gate is off and I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't it make you feel great to do, good, to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live so free of guilt. Yeah, she's very carefree, isn't she? The grate they used to cover the drain. A little bent. I don't think it would fit if I tried to put it back on. 
Okay, we got a bike. Looks like one of those electric powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a little easier to go up hills. So people will cycle to get exercise? Okay. I'm, I'm sure that the grate is probably the only thing worthwhile here. Maybe this digs. Is that a finished backdrop for a stage here? It looks like a castle. Probably Neo Old Tokyo Castle. The remains of the other day's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates minus the steak. Uh-huh. Oops. Got anything else of note? Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh. So normal. I was expecting some cool themed snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. Wait! Look! Samurai soda! Heck for this! Okay, we, we, we did this. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. How many? You know a lot about the industry. Oh, yep. Did that before. We know that you can't see through. Window to the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. The door of the dressing room, it's not locked. Hey, Nick, let's go in. There'll be something else to steal. Hey, we're not thieves. But we did take the card key. We borrowed that. There's a difference. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd be able to go back in. Okay. Uh. This is where the steel samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Power says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder if the killer was planning on doing then. Huh. He's got a point. Yeah. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap, like he said. Locked. I guess he doesn't open his window much. It's kind of dusty outside. There's some regular shoots in among the costumes here. Those must be Mr. Powers' personal clothes. They always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. See, my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. There's an array of cosmetics here. According to Maya, that wig was used in some old TV show. Samurai Boogie Woogie! Nick, get with the picture! Look, explain to me how you can identify a show just by seeing a wig. I am. Um, I like samurai movies. Kinda? She's a peach. It's a power's bag. I wonder what's inside. Hey! Supermarket tabloids? Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Oh, yeah. Leave those alone. Wolfman found on Mars. I'll have to buy that issue. <laughs> okay. Oh. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Wait, Nick. What now? These snacks. They've passed the expiration date. I don't eat them. For snacks. They're meant to be eaten. Okay, I love her just from that line. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Hello. So the reason why they make you do those jumps is probably to trigger stuff like this so you don't miss it. Oh, hello. Oh. You look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. I'm an alternative card fashion thing. <laughs> She's adorable. Uh, can I talk to you about the studios? So how are studios doing? There's police, there's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. They want me disturbing event. I haven't even cleaned up the lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? You know anything about the fanboy? You can't sneak in here a lot! Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular, a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see Old Windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. This can be her grandson. He has a bit of trouble catching him, though. The director and everyone else. I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio had seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were, so they were trying to protect the director? 
Or the producer, really. The producers are a real, real star here. We saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for the producer. The producer, huh? Yeah, who is that? I think that's significant. Hey, you want to see my, my tourney badge? Here you go. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. Sorry. <laughs> uh... Did you take a look at this? It's Mr. Powers. Why are they dragging his leg like that? What is this anyway? Looks like she didn't know about the photo or the injury that morning. Mm, never mind. Mm, I think we're good. Let's go. There's not gonna be anything here, right? Yeah. Oh, it's the right. Thank you for earlier. Not at all. You got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. It's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. I can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Y yes. Uh, what do you know about the fanboy? Do our fanboys sneak into the studios often? Yeah, not that I know of. The security lady is pretty strict with them. In today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love to steal samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. About the director, was the director present at the morning run through? Y yes, yes, he was. Who's directing how the steel samurai and the evil magistrate you should move? Why didn't you tell us about, 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 about that before? There it is. Finally came out. But, well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That is all sus. That's nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. Thanks for the confidence, Maya. I, I see. <laughs> Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No. I, I sure hope not. Uh... Hey, look at my badge! Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that, whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way I could help you. Sorry. <laughs> um, actually, I'm interested. Regarding this photograph... Y yes. This really, truly, absolutely isn't you, right? Right. I was sleeping in my dressing room the whole time, honest. Who else could have worn it? The costume was in your dressing room. Yes. I guess they snuck in and took it while I was asleep. But who? How'd they get in there quietly? Regarding the murder weapon. Yes. Is it heavy, that spear? It's pretty hefty, yeah. Uh, I don't think the average person would be able to swing it around effectively. Hmm. And that's the spear that broke or something during the morning run-through? Oh, yes. I goofed on around and kicked the... I broke the spear. The security lady fixed it for me right away, though. Oh, cause she... She needed it to be fixed. With duct tape. With duct tape, we heard. Hmm. Any ideas? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. But that's exactly what... Oh, wait. That's exactly the same thing you said yesterday. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. What do you think we should do? What do I do? What do I... Huh? Why don't we do what you just said? We gotta get the scoop on this director and producer. All right. And there's no point hanging around here. That's what I've been saying. Let's go to those studios, Pronto! But, um, but... I was just over there. And they didn't show up anywhere. Where are they at? This place is deserted. Oh, a thing happened. 
Sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Do we have a key? No. But there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Fuck! Hey, what am I waiting for? Let's follow it. That's the lettuce. God damn it. I couldn't have done this before. Hey. Can I have a key, please? Fuck. Uh. I need a key. I need a key. I need a key. I need a key. <gasps> security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuff, stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want the key in that trailer. Maybe next time. Fuck. Uh. How do I get her to leave? I have a key. Oh, they gave a lawyer one of the card keys? Well, I'm sort of borrowing it. You see, you better be careful not to lose that. You're very strict about those card keys here. I guess they're pretty good at keeping these out of outsiders' hands. Thanks, they'll be careful. Shit. Uh... uh you wanna see this? Say, you work with the props, right? About that murder weapon. You mean the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop. It's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So you'd have to be pretty strong to use that as a weapon, it sounds like. Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? God, why so loud? What the, the words? FTF, what are you dudes? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, wait, wait here first, who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lamers. <laughs> How could you not know great salmonella? Oh, God. <coughs> Duff, yeah, I was just gonna say. This is fucking Duff. <coughs> it hurts my voice. <laughs> I make <laughs> delete shows. The Steel Samurai? Mine. <laughs> Read the fucking film credits. Really? Who are these? No, don't feed his ego, Maya. I'm so sorry. I just thought you looked so... Sorry. No. <laughs> Quite all right, really. It's fine. We're awful. Oh, boy. Oh, what is it? You know... Uh, uh, on closer inspection... <laughs> yeah, hot, hot, hot. Ah! Kick him in the face. Straight in the face. Hey, do you do a lot of cosplay because of Cosm Rocks or Zrul? Kick him right in the face. Rocks or Rocks or what? Hey, they're drilling. Ah! This is icky. <laughs> Buffer overrun. <laughs> I've triggered my creative powers. Yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess! The sequel to Steel Samurai, Pink Princess Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. This isn't flattering. You're creepy. Ruffle Lama! Pink, Pink Princess. Why is it gonna be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? I, we really need to talk about cool, and we need to not be. 
This is not what we need to be focusing on right now. Ugh, I don't want to talk to him at all. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. The security lady told you about us. <laughs> that's right. Oh, wait, that's right. It's a pretty regular day. We had to just run in with our opening scene of the morning. I'm waiting because of the lunchtime of the Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> it was so busy. I didn't even get a chance to get lunch. T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, sucksers. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does sucksors mean? No idea. That sucks sores, that's funny. Anyway, I was in the meeting for Budu till after four. But the Budu's are in some big links for the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, that meeting, meeting gives him an alibi. I want to talk to this guy as least as possible. About the producer who was in the meeting with you. Oh, you mean... D. Vasquez? D. Vasquez. What's the plain word on that? Vasquez. I don't know that one yet. She's a genius! <laughs> Mad skills all the way. Scary though. <laughs> she brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make this steel slippery. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to four the whole time. What exactly are these big wigs keep people keep mentioning? Oh, uh, the boss over there at the Spons new Network, some sponsors, also a few production guys. Piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. <laughs> we're all... Oh, wait. We're all of them with you the entire time? Ugh, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers. Ugh. Mm, sounds like they'll all be reliable witnesses. Hey! I'm a lawyer! I try not to pay much attention to these things that don't interest me. Ugh. Well, then why are you making that face? Ew. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, God. You're... a vile... human. This is WSP, right? How do you know? Oh, look. He's obviously dragging his foot. How do you know? All right, the director would know about the injury. He was there. Ah, never mind. I tried to... Ah, so gross! So gross! I hate him. This guy doesn't pass the vibe check, and he needs to stay far away from schools, parks, and public... Yeah, he needs to be on all the lists. Ugh. You are yucky. I need to go to that other one. Ah! What are you doing back? Fucking terrifying, dude. Why? I, this isn't even a scary game, and it's making me jump. Aha! You again! How long have I been like to see the ghost? You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took- Oh. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out the spare suit, the samurai costume, told me to put it on. Can you imagine? Okay, a sweet little old lady wear a giant suit like that. Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as... Uh, oh, I'm destroying my throat tonight. As soon as... Oh, uh, that's not it. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. Whoops. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this, whippersnapper. Whoops. Know oh, this, whippersnapper, is that he never forgets the slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. Okay, he's an elephant. You sure you're talking a lot for someone who has sealed lips? Yes, thank you, Maya. I love you. Tell her to shut up. Starting now. One, two, three. <sighs> this lady's too much. She actually talked to me. Oh my god, she'll actually talk to me. Wendy, is it short for Wendigo? Wendigo, old bag. I don't know. This is short for Wendigo. I love that, though. Fanboy. Um, about that kid you said you saw. I see him again. I'm talking. I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. 
about the director, the one, the one who was here on the day of the murder. Oh God, same thing. I think Nick, I think she's losing it. Okay, uh, she's letting me move in here. Okay, uh. They're gonna be so Oops. Oh shit. Fuck. How do I get the key? No touching. I guess I better investigate there later. Fuck. Ah. You need to go away. Uh. Shit. Maybe he's got something else to say. Nope. Yeah, I can't. The people are always there. Go away. Uh. Dude. This is obnoxious as hell. Ah! Okay, we found it. Hey! Hey, wait! I bet he came in right through the dra that drain. Hey, um, kitty -o. What's your name, sport? Hey, uh, cat. Don't talk to me like that. Huh? But you are. You are a kid. What a little brat. That's the way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. Hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. Uh, being bullied by a child. Gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Cody Hackins. A code hacker? Kind of thing. Call me kitty all again, and I'll put you down where you stand, evil doer. Okay, tell me about what you saw. Are you a fan of Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evil doer? I think I changed his name, or his voice on accident. What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ah! You can't fool me. Okay, and what's the last line said by the innkeeper on episode E? Oh God. <laughs> Easy. I'm like some fries with that. Hmm, not bad, Kitty-o. Watch it. What are they doing? They're, they're speaking in code, Phoenix. Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Looks like Maya's face. Did you see anything? Hit. 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 Always. The still somewhere he always wins. Always. <coughs> Ow. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but no way am I, I telling you losers. Wait. Let me go. What's just happening? He's gone. Huh. Something fell at the table when he bumped into it on his way out. Oh, sus. Oh, is this why he's tired? Someone put sleeping pills in <gasps> He got roofied? Uncool. A bottle? I was just sitting there, I wonder. Empty bottle slipped into pocket. Sleeping pills. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Oh, she's gone. Fuck yes. 
Where's that old windbag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey! You can steal the fucking key! Take the wizard! Stop! Oh. Stop! Whip a snapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing that boy. Snatch! What's that word? Oh, she tripped. I sure looks happy. Yeah, let's get the fucking key, dude. Give me that. Hey, hey, Nick. How's our chance? Let's check out the guard station. I took forever. Good idea. Oh. This is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to the trailer in Studio 2. Well, we're borrowing this, right, Nick? She has no qualms about just taking shit. The trailer key. Also, the reason why the, the birds freak me out is that sometimes it goes perfectly in time with how I speak. And it feels like a voice effect. Trailer key slipped into pocket. Let's go! Aha! Let me in. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. Chose the perfect one. It opened. Great, let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Oh, you first, Nick. Uh, not that eager. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. What's in here? Hello. Oh, please don't be the one that murdered him. Oh boy. Yep. So someone's already here. Oh. Oh, she's going to get us in trouble. I hope not, Lonnie. Oh. We need to give her a voice. Um, go that way, go that way, bop, 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 I don't know, something like that. Ooh! Our talks always bring Lonnie in. He's like, yeah, Lonnie has just like a radar. Uh, okay. James? James. I don't know if I like that voice. How's that? Is that a little better? Hmm. Might be a little better. A sixth sense? No, we're staying with it. We're staying with sick sense. Is it a sixth sense? Nope. Sixth sense. It's okay, Lonnie. You're narrow bivergent. You're allowed. James? Uh, names? Oh, like, even Maya's flustered. Um, we're, we're, we're WP's lawyers and, um... I see. Hmm. And who might you be? E. Vasquez, the producer. E. Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. Mm hmm <laughs> Yep. Uh... Hey, are you into music? Because I can be a guitar. You can grab my neck and play me until I make nice noises. How about that? Uh, do you know about the day of the crime? I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. Um, oops, wrong thing. Script. I'm looking for a script. Script? A steel Samurai. Episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. Oh, I hope she's like a super obsessed anime fan. That'd be amazing.
We're getting nowhere fast. That was very unhelpful. Um, I'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. No, don't be the murderer! Nick, just telling us to go watch TV is a nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Salmonella, was it? What, uh... Is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick! Are all people in the entertainment business this, this weird? Probably. It's starting to look like it. Nick! Let's go ahead and let's get out of here. Isn't there some place else we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yeah? If you see Manella, give him this. No, I'm not an errand boy. Why do we have to do your errands? Because mommy said so. That's what that face was. I don't think I like her. That's fine. You don't, I did less competition. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. <laughs> All right, we'll give it to him if we see him. Vasquez's memo added to the court record. Did that say bring me the horizon? Wait a minute. Bring me the script. Okay. I don't, my brain filled it in. Hey! Um, I'm a lawyer. I'm not interested. Fuck! She's not interested in me. That's fine. Uh. Later, Tater. What's up, Goldie? Welcome back! Also, I saw you popped in on YouTube the other day. I said, hey, and I missed your, your chat. I apologize. Uh... Studio One. Where was he again? He wasn't here. Maybe he moved. There you go. Ugh, what are you doing in here, weirdo? Oh. I have a thing for you. Here you go. This is from Vasquez. Here, I got this from the producer. Uh, read me the script for episode 13. Episode 13, where, where did I put that one? Must have left it somewhere. Uh, uh, my ass is... Oh, pwned. It's pwned. My ass is pwned. I thought he was saying pounded. And I was like... My ass is pwned if I don't find it. Uh. Nick, it might be quicker to just look at... Look at all the places we are. It's like that we have been. Fuck! Oh my god, it's a fetch quest game. I agree. Fuck. Alright. Move! No, not move. You move. Okay, at least these are all. Oh? In the tea. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Hey, Nick! What now? The snacks! There was twice as much before! Ate him. Uh, I ate him. Never passed their expiration date anyway, Raffle. She's upset. I love her. She's, she, she loves snacks. She's biting her lip and starting at me with tears welling in her eyes. <laughs> Maya's great. I love Maya. I clipped this to send it to my husband. Oh no, what did you clip? Oh, I appreciate that, Goldie. Thank you so much. I hope uh, the work lurk is treating you well. God dang it. Literally gotta observe everything again. That it could be. Someone stashed him in here. The drain where the fanboy came in. He didn't waste any time coming in either. Talk about cause and effect. Okay. Nothing here. 
go to the gate. There's not going to be anything here, right? Yep. All right, move to here. It said, like, areas it should be, but the detective game, so maybe someone stashed something somewhere. Back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. You got it. Backpack? Oops. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course! That's the mountain, Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in... Oh yeah, we already read this. Oh, look at the camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Hey, smile, Nick. You're a star. Stop that. Very playable. A uh, ladder. Look, a ladder. It's a step ladder. But what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry. This girl is out there. We read that one before, but that was still funny. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. The director. Oh yeah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember the script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Ah! Found it, Nick! The script! Good work. Good place in the pocket. Whoever reads episode 13. For reflecting light, they call it reflect yet. Where's all your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? The lighting is fine, but I'd want to be the director. Oh, we, we read that. Okay. Uh, do we give it to him? I'm giving it to her. There you go. Mommy. Hello. I found a thing for you. you. Want this? There you go. We found it. Your script. Oh. Good boy. That's what she's thinking. Scriptender defeat. What's her name? What's her play on word name? Um. Not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Yes, you hold on. What's the big deal? Who do you think you are anyway? And who do you even know? Do you even know who we are? She's the guy. I don't care. How is Loya? Um. Right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but... You want to know about the day of the murder? Yes, anything you tell us would be a big help. You know, there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. All right. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? No one- we walked by it! Wait, why did it- why did this pop up? Not in, what the fuck? The conversation just stopped. She just stopped talking. Diva? Oh, Diva, like, without her last bit of the name, gotcha. Block that. Ah, oh, that's why she talked. Or stopped. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. All right, that. What an original name. Oh. His head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving. They headed out of the way until after three. It was after four. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was clear. 
stuck in this trailer, stuck until after 4 p.m. She's very adamant about that. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. How do you know he died at 2.30? What? It's true. The rain came just after 3 to move the head. I called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they did corroborate my story. But, but wait! What if the head fell after 2.30? Then you could have gone to the Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. Uh, yes, ma'am. That's Mr. Monkey. And it wasn't broken, and announced the time. In, in oops. One oop per hour. Oop, 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 oop. Always with the ooping. It is a monkey, after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. It's like the first one. Fifteen. That's right. Pass was blocked from two fifteen till four. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in the Studio One at two thirty. See? Goodbye. Aw, man, don't be the murderer. Mr. Monkey's head data added to the court record. What do we do, Nick? There's anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer? It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan a strategy. Maybe Salmonella could do it. I'm gonna go home. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. They don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. Oh god, is fucking... Mia showing up? A little early to be giving up, huh? But it's gotta be Mia. We've got one lead. Yo! Look, she gains like a foot and a half of height. Mia, it's you. What took you so long? I need you here to save my career. Is that on her face or my monitor? Does she have a mole? She has a mole. Sorry, Phoenix. I has trouble calling me unless she really in trouble right oh wait i guess that means we're really in trouble i'd say so what do you mean we have one lead oh yeah of course the snot pusher yeah i saw him coming i saw everything what but no way am i telling you losers i don't know he didn't sound like he was going to help us at all I'm sure you could find some way of bringing him over to your side. Get him a steel samurai statue or something. Either way, we should go back to the studios. We just left there! You should have- you could have showed up on the way over here. On the drive. On the Uber. Anything. Come on, Mia. I've always our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks, now I'm more worried than I was before. God damn it! Hey, look! I'm a lawyer! I mean, that isn't good. Don't do it again. <laughs> You know what they say, dead men don't tell tales. You sure are talking enough. Uh, okay. Go all the way back. Ah! Go away! <laughs> What's wrong? What? That was me. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> He's been chasing that boy this whole time. <laughs> what I, I catch him, I... <laughs> Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. <laughs> I got a hostage now, whippersnapper. A hostage? The fuck? Fanboy. And what happened to the boy? I see the game all. Lay him flat. Oh no, we have to we have to stick with it's it's Mia, but it's in Maya's body, so it comes out of Maya's voice, right? Hey, what a violent old lady! Actually, I met with the director just now. 
My, my heart. I don't feel so good. She okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. That's sussy. What are you trying to hide? This is about a hostage. When the boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back. For this one. It's kind of hard to understand with all the huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Thought he might be. Might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. This old new rag. Whoa. I, she just skipped over stuff. No! <laughs> oh. I'm catching that bread if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, you have anything you might trade with her? Uh, I don't want to trade nothing with her. A trade? Mm. I wonder. Uh... She'd want. <laughs> She's too busy catching her brother to tell me anything. That's just gonna piss her off, isn't it? This old bag? I'm borrowing this just so you know. She doesn't care. Oh, okay. You just be sure to. She's not as demanding when she's exhausted. What? What does she want? Sleeping pills? Wait, really? That's what she cares about? Hey, that... Uh -huh. That's a card! Studio One! Right, a card key. To Studio One. I suppose she's just tired right now, but she has demon eyes, so... We're still giving her the voice. I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit. He died. <sighs> this is... It's fine. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldbag? I'm not allowed back there because I'm technically not the guard. I'm a stalker. What do you want this my stuff? You want me to borrow with him? Oh. I figured you would have access if you're a security guard. If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to go into Studio One. Lend her the card key. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this and we're even, do you? What's this? A steel samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figured it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Trading card. Apparently, these are really popular with kids these days. Got a Pokemon card. All right, I'm off. She's gonna go try to scrub the murder scene clean. As she goes hobbling off towards the studio. Uh. Okay, are we supposed to find this kid? Aha! Hey! Little brat. Stop moving. Hey, you! Wait a sec. Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Okay. Nowhere to go, kid. Sam and Neil are still in here? He sure to be here somewhere. Found you! Damn it, he's getting away. Oh my god, we're playing hide and seek with a kid. Come back! There, he's back. How did she... Yeah, what did she do? She just pulled him out of a closet? Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody, I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! This is fucking... This is Naruto. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? 
Phoenix? <laughs> Phoenix, can you take it from here? I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Yeah, he kind of hates me. Uh, hey, tell me about the Steel Samurai. Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he, he's the, um, the bomb. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> what a labor like you know about Steel Samurai. Hey, watch the attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't let yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. What happened? Do you know anything about what happened here? Can you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm. Looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? Hey, little brat. Look what I got. Looky, looky, looky. Oh, does this look familiar? Hey! My error! Is that ultra rare? Is that what that is? You are! You, you are? Yeah, I think that's ultra rare. You are, huh? Aha! Uh -huh. You are, you know, ultra rare. The card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this, if you help me. That's my card! By offering something I already own, you're in effect. Eschewing the very basis of the consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Who is this kid? Why does he know all these big words? And for a grown up, you sure are dumb. How do they teach the kids in schools these days? Quantum physics? Whatever. I don't need that card. Really? You sure about that? I want to put it in the shredder. I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, find, find me a really rare card. Fuck off. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on. And for growing up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about stakes? <laughs> Fuck. Ass. Dicks. Uh, where am I going to find a fucking ultra rare card? Move. Oh. Damn it. Hey, what if I get him to sign it? I guess Mr. Bowers isn't questioning. Fuck! Oh well. Try again another day, Phoenix. Dicks! Uh... Oh my god, where am I gonna... Maybe the director has one. Kind of a weirdo. What are you doing here? Oh my god, everyone's moving. Oh, hi. Hello. What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um. Yes? Uh, um, how was you? Doesn't she seem a little different? Yeah, she grew two feet. Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope. She's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Have you seen the boy, the boy since then? Nope. I missed it though. The security lady was chasing around the, the boy so fast I thought he'd collapse. Of course he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through his clenched fist back at the guard station. <laughs> Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes, it's really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? Y you mean, you don't know about Hammer? No! What happened? No what? I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. No, you gotta tell me now, because it might be interesting. Why is there a weird Mountain Dew bottle in the background? I never noticed that before. It looks goofy. No, I need to know. Wait, now you have to tell me what happened with Hammer. I am sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Oh, why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? No! Hey! Do you want a card? I'll trade you. 
Do you know anything about this? Oh, that's a seal samurai trading card. I collect those actually. Fuck yeah, dude! I knew you were a nerd. One card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's it. That's the card I need. I don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh. I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. <laughs> Yo, I love her. I love her a lot. <laughs> She's going full nerdum. I love it. Please, I beg you. Please trade with me. Trade with you? Yes. Trade card. Look, I'll even trade you Ultra Rare Premium card. Trade me it. Huh? Yes. It's a good deal for an Ultra Rare. Please. Phoenix. Can't you see she's desperate? What, what's everybody getting so excited about? Trade. Okay. Really? Thanks. And this is for you. Fuck yeah, we got an herb. We got an herb card. Yahoo! Look how happy she is. She made her day. And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh... This way. Nope. This way. Oops. There we go. Ha! Still here. Hey! Oh, brat. Who wants it? See this card? Yes, the... Wait! That's it! That's the ultra rare premium card I need! You guys could have just traded each other. I guess they didn't know about it. Come on, give it to me, please! I gotta have it to me! I've never seen him so eager. Right, okay. Uh, how about a trade? God! I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, uh, no, no, no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Uh, you sure? Fine by me. Herb card. No, you don't give the dude it before he pays up. Okay, Venus, let's hear what he has to say. If you know something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. Tell me stuff. You like to see a samurai? He's so cool. I, I guess. And judging him by his looks, you have to look at his action at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh, me? Yeah, I, uh, I love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. Oh, shit! It's fighting skills. Gotta think of something. I like uh, when he, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, I was there. Steel Samurai always wins, always! Check this out! It's my fan album! <laughs> this is hilarious. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. Look at every live performance! The stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public? I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. With them! Look at them all! I never missed one! Perfect collection. Check it out! My new digital camera! I could use that in evidence. Wow, well, that's very impressive. Newest model, isn't it? What kind of parents do you have? Too bad, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai, Path to Glory. Steel Samurai always wins, always! Hey, if you want this, like, you can have it, lady. Huh? Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with the digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. I think photos of every victory scene in every battle one. The Steel Samurai has won. Okay, that might be interesting. What's with people... What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. The director won't have it. It isn't a picture of it. <laughs> right. What happened? Uh... You're here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? How do you know? I guess she, maybe she knows everything that Maya knows, but they seem to not. 
always know? You have to help us fight for great justice, too. I... I saw... I saw everything! Oh well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. What'd you see? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here on the day around two. I had to come through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost though. I was in there for maybe half an hour or so. And I finally got back to the studio. After that... What is this, Cody? Oh! <laughs> the, the sealed samurai killed the bad guy. He used his samurai spear. Just like always, one shot, one kill. It happened so fast. I got scared. I went home after that. I, I see. It must have been hard on you. And you say those nice things, but it's so obvious that you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Yeah. Yes. I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. What? True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who could have been... Who it could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. If you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Not call him then. I think that would be, I think that would be wise. Let's leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. Is that gonna be fucking what's his name? Oh my god! I guess it said pal, so that kind of tipped me off. I heard everything. God damn it! This boy here is a key witness, and he's under police protection starting now. You see? Come on, son. You've got to rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Ah! Shit. That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. Now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, hmm. I really need to be going. Fucking awful time. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, 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 Come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Believe. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Oh, another chapter. I guess it's not really a chapter. It's just like a, a cut. Or a break. Shit. We're 30 minutes before time. The other ones have been like perfectly timed. To end stream. Uh, Mr. Wright. Yeah. Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> really, it, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, the client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. <laughs> saying that right in front of him? This is no, this is no time for dead people jokes, please. That's how she's thinking. Now we're going to do the trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked and the evidence to prove it in. Something overlooked. We have to find something, Phoenix. Today, set or lose a trial. This isn't going to be easy. Alright, court time. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, it disappeared. There we go. Uh, or it is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edwards. Your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there was other people present, present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first wisdom. Witness, Mr. Edward. I wonder if I'll be able to I'll be the producer. I hope not. The prosecution calls. 
Mr. Sal Manillo to the stand. Fuck! Got to do with him? Or that director? Oh, gross. Will the witness state his name and profession? How weird. How weird can you get? You don't know me. I'm the director. I make Steel Samurai do brothel. Yo. Yo, you just went from big tough guy to cheeky little bitch. Like two finger taps of Edgeworth. Yo. Edgeworth's got it going on. Summon a lemon director. Uh, television. Were you at Global Studio? Oh, wait. Were you at Global Studios the day of the murder? That was not his voice. Yes, yeah, your mother. Uh, very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. Powers is innocent. You know what that means. Someone in the trailer on the day I did it. Right. He doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. A right, day of the murder. I was at the studio for a night that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting at the studio two trailer. <laughs> so we ended up skipping lunch. We were at the meeting around until about four. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Why are you so sweaty? Yeah. At the time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Examining all your cross. Were you really up there from 9 in the morning? You have proof? Is that when you always come into work? Uh, I do I come in so all sort of hours. The industry way yeah i know all about the freaks in your industry still i was pretty busy all that day tell us more about that during the morning i was doing a a, a secret scene run through in the employee area that's right there was a fight scene between the sales samurai and the evil magistrate. Was anyone else in the run-through? Uh, yeah, the security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. Lol. She was cheering on Hammer if he could believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope. Just those four. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. Why did it go on for so long? Uh, I'm pretty sure Jews, uh, you've already heard about this, but, uh, with that be twisted his ankle or the real Rothbard's sake. Alright, that's the limp. Which, of course, led to me missing my lunch, Roths. <laughs> Roths rolling on the floor starving? I heard. That everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. Excuse me, apologize. What exactly did they have for lunch? Demon steak. <laughs> yes, it's been cooked them up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else meetings, the witness did not eat with them. But I had a meeting at the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? It must have been tough. Phoenix! Yeah? Was there something about Nazimandu? Uh, That's contradictory. It does seem odd, now that you mention it. Mr. Manel- I almost said Manuela. Mr. Manella. Uh, what do you want? When I went to the studio too, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. The same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Great lunch there. Uh, good call. I, uh, I was embarrassed so I didn't mention it. 
But I need it after all. Gross. T-Bone steak, you mean? Uh, well, I, I mean, the assistant went through all the trouble. I bought it. I bought it the chair. I think I could eat it later. Clearly, a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. Dude, I would go for a steak right now. So when exactly did you eat it? Uh, I took one break during the meeting. I uh, wolfed it down that... <laughs> yeah. Mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait, wait a second. They took a break in that meeting that contradicts his testimony. Press him on that one a bit more. Absolutely. Lies, bitch! What were you discussing? Steel Samurai story. In our budget. If this, the sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Metal, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can I believe it? Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. LIES! We all ate Maya's expired snacks. Or he ate, uh, yeah, he ate all Maya's expired snacks. That's true. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, uh... Yeah, not a one. G hmm. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second! Maybe I do have an idea. You lied to me! Wait a second! I said, Manila, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate the T-bone steak during a break? Ugh! Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, or whatever. A little, a little more ambiance. Well? Uh, um... Mr. Miller, what about, what's this all about? Uh, you see, I, I got stuck on a lunch break. I didn't mean to push the button. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about his break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Ugh. No, Edgeworth, don't. Don't. Oh, Edgeworth is laughing. God damn it. Yes, woof. I took a break. Oh, it was only 15 minutes. 15. It's only 13 in base 12. <laughs> no joke. Not enough for time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One. <laughs> It's only just enough time to eat a table steak, if you ask me. Gross. Hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that. But that's just me. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Keep lying, you lie like a dog. You lie like a dog lies on a rug. only enough time to eat a stick if you ask me. Oh, Phoenix! The testimony was too short to wring any kind of useful relation out of it. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great. Is that all? Okay. Took a break. It was only 15 minutes. Not enough time. Okay. isn't gonna be it, is it? Yep. Balls. Balls! Okay. Save. Hmm. I was never able to look at these. photo of every victory seen in every battle. Ron, what do you think about the witness's statement? Er, I'm not sure I follow. Clearly, uh, fuck. Alright, I'm missing something. 
only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. I'm gonna have to take my time eating that kind of food. <laughs> Hello, Phoenix! Uh... What am I missing? I already did all these, right? What time did you take this break? I say it was from around 2.30 or so to 2.45. 30 Oh. I thought I pressed him on those already. Oh, 2.30. That's the time of death. So you two have gone to the studio one, killed Hammer, and came back. I guess it's possible time-wise. Ooh, Edris didn't like that. But it's only 15 minutes! What are you doing for those 15 minutes? You might see about steak, what else? There are two plates on that table. Oh, right. The other one was gave us. Sorry, D. Vasquez's plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. We need team bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Not enough time for someone to take a minute of murder. Where'd she go? Why is that? Stop it, you! I think we had enough of this pointless line of questioning. You scared? You scared? Your Honor, the testimony at this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? I think you're scared. Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Uh, well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. You claim so er, you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I claim it and claim it loud! If I agree to let everyone oh if I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trail the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. For 15 minutes, murder is certain certainly a possibility. Hmm. I suppose you might say that. Alright, I've got the judge thinking now. I'm Edgeworth. I'm edgy as fuck. I like, cut myself on all this my, my own edge. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing, doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4 o'clock the path between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head. I thought it was Mrs. Monkey. Had fallen across the path. Oh, uh, you're right. Fuck. Hey, fuck up. Who was breaking the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey's head barred the way. Actually, Mr. Monkey Mittenworth has a point, and somehow I feel no desire to correct him. What? No counter arguing, Mr. Wright? Then I'm afraid you lose this round. I knew it! I knew I shouldn't have done that. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to leave Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over? Fuck. I fucked up! I knew I shouldn't have done that. Very well. Oh, wait. Very well. The truth. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 and their deed the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Studio Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one, one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence. And he is the one who did it. If we had the... Wow, I, I can't do his voice today for some reason. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we did indeed have decisive evidence. The witness, it's going to be D. Who is this witness? Who is this witness, Mr. Edward? 
I witnessed this all in the same very moment. The seal samurai skewered the victim. Or it's the kid. It's gotta be the kid. Order. I will have order. I see. Court will take a 10 minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. <laughs> oh, you, you, you're turning sides? You're not a fan of Edgeworth anymore, are you, Lonnie? What do we do now, Mia? Everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving me up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. People in the trailer could not have gone to the Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Uh, um, uh, what's going to happen to me? Can I go to prison for life? It seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Give it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Here are the children everywhere, after all. I... Uh, you... Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Edgeworth is a ruthless enemy. Okay, who is this? X yeah, yeah, right. It looks like or uh, looks like Wolverine. I like him. Brady's back in session from the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. The witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case. We were that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. I see Edge was taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> Couldn't give him a booster seat? Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Uh, all right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates you knew. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Yes. Didn't you just say that you're scared about traumatizing the kid? What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. Hmm. Cody, answer his questions, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <clears throat> Witness, uh, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with the gentle thing. You were present, uh, at the Global Studios on the day of the, uh, incident. Got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you in grabs with the beard over there? Yes. Mr. Edwards is fine. I didn't skip that. Oh my god, everything skipped. A very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. Wait, what? Why? That is not... What? My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if you couldn't bring it. Oh, I thought they were saying you couldn't use photographic evidence. I'd like special permission that it, if that's possible. Wait, so are you saying you had a bargain terms with a kid and you lost? <laughs> Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I'll bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. Better make a note of that in the court record. New digital camera. Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. Yeah, but we have his picture journal. Very well, Cody. Please just buy the court about what you saw the day of the incident. I wanted to see the Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods, off the path, so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost in the way, so for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. 
totally rocked right before my eyes. Okay, my legend. Of course, the steel samurai took him down. Pow! I missed that one part, as if you can tell. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Mm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle! Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here. Is he gonna punish me if I question him about everything? Uh, I wanted to see a steel samurai. Uh, my headset's dying. I wanted to see a steel samurai. We're sort of sold just once. Uh, I'm worried that it's going to punish me if I badger him. So... So maybe not that one. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. Interesting. That day, the first time you'd been to the studio. Actually, I'd been a couple times. I never managed to get there on the rehearsal day. The security lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Jail pops, I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk to this? You cut me off all the time. Jeez. Ah, uh, you're getting bullied. Went through the woods out the past so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost in the way, though, for about 30 minutes. I want to know about that. You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. And I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? When I came out of the studio, there was a steel samurai. A steel samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. And he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? I totally rocked! Right before my eyes! Now came the bad guy! That's interesting. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy. A person? Not at all. Skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? Yeah, what if, um, the body wasn't killed there? Because there was, like, no blood in the round, right? I don't know. It was kind of far away. Hmm. He's been awfully vague. Of course, it's still Samurai. Took him down. Pow! happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well? Well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. He was dead. <laughs> I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah I suppose so. If I had my... Yeah, what happened to your camera? You said you had it with you all the time. If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out, and he went home. Phoenix, remember he's a child. Use gentle words. I'll be fine. Easy for you to say. I wanted to steal samurai words just once. Oh, starting back in the beginning. You really like to steal samurai, huh? Of course I do! I've taped every show, and I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course, duh! My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. On the map on the internet, that's a little sus. Was that the day that... Oh, wait. I've been in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where'd that? Did that, did that, did that, did that. I went through the woods in the past to the old lake, yeah. Off the path. Yeah, you know how the studios are in a valley there? You go off the path a little, there's woods. Oh, dip. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow. I was going for the studio. You were able to get through there, even with the monkey head down? Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Yeah. Did you see the monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio? Yo! When I came out of the studio, yep. 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 
Yep. It's not letting us through this. So let's do... Saved. Fuck. Game over. It's just saved. What happens when you lose? As you know. Of course, he's no reason to further prolong the trial. Uh-oh. This course finds... Oh my god, the defensive wheel power is guilty. Whoa! Really? Did you say I get tired of your questions? The accused will surrender to the court immediately to be held pending trial higher court within a month from today's date. That is all! The court is adjourned. Fuck, sorry, man. Oh, and he kicks you straight out. Okay, we'll call that a perfect ending, right? Because we are at stream time. Friends, I'm starving. I need to go eat again. But, my friends, let's go see if we have some friends doing a little bit of a stream stram, shall we? If we can go send some love off somewhere. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Doo, 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 doo. I have to go into work tomorrow. <laughs> In the freaking office is so upsetting. Hey, yo! Our boy. Our boy Lee. Our boy Lee is streaming. He's playing some uh, Final Fantasy 14. He's playing some online. Oh, no, he's not. He's playing Final Fantasy 16. Oh! Oh! That's the game that I stopped playing. So let's go give Lee some love. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt them shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience. It helps those animals and rescue out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Basive. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for letting me be your streamer tonight. I heavily appreciate it. Uh, the plan is to continue playing that or this this week. Back to some more Baldur's Gate 3 on Friday. And then uh Continue playing this until the new Final Fantasy drops. Rebirth is coming out at the end of this month, so super excited for that. Put in some time requests off for Friday. We'll see if I get it. It's all the shit that's been happening at work. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for being here. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. See ya. Hello. Hello. Let's go.